Greetings once again, my dear friends, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're, uh, continuing with Lady Stephanie's quest today, because it's a thing that we're doing, so why not do it? Okay, so we need to see Conrad Hagen. He is the gentleman responsible for selling the wine. Everything you need, day or night, at home or at work. Okay. My respects to you. So, Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me. Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me to... And what would she like? Fine clothes from Venice? Exquisite spices from Arabia? Jewels from Germany? Wine. Good wine. Ah. Ah. Would beer be enough? As a gift for a noble woman's wedding. <laughs> No, it definitely wouldn't. <laughs> then that's going to be a problem. I gave the last keg of good wine away as a prize for the archery competition tomorrow. Shit. Isn't there anywhere else where I could find the wine? Unfortunately not. I have the exclusive right to sell and buy that particular vintage. No one else in the region will stock it. Can I enroll in the competition? But of course. Go to the shooting range above Ratai. And what if I don't win? But what if I don't win the competition? Then you'll have to persuade the winner to part with some truly excellent wine. Uh, I suppose I'll just have to find a way to get it. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can do to help. <coughs> okay. You want to buy anything off me? Yeah, have a silver neck chain. And a carrot. Have a carrot. Because why not? You can shove it up your... Carrot orifice. Um... Oh, you can have some Flemish cloth, though. I've got no use for it. No French altar candle, which looks like precisely the right. I'm going to stop talking. Uh, I have a couple of second-hand books. Where's the other one? Oh, no, I haven't finished that one yet. Okay. Oh. Let us haggle. Let's talk about the price. Well, we can try it. How about 250? What do you say to this? It's not worth it to me. Two twenty? What do you say to this? We are getting there. Just drop the price a bit more. Two hundred. 
I, for that amount, I can be persuaded. Alrighty. Pleasure doing business, Conrad. Ha, ah, right. Going to down another marigold decoction just to heal up the rest of the way. Just to see if this fellow wants to teach me any extra archery tips. I'm honored that you should come to me. Can you teach me to be a better archer? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Now, pay close attention. Take Can you teach me to be a better archer? Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. Wouldn't you rather learn the basics first? Oh, I'm a terrible archer. Well, <laughs> I'll think it over. Uh, might might still win the comp. We'll see. How about I'd like some, you to hunting? Show me some hunting tricks? Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. Wouldn't you rather learn the basics first? Well, I'll think it over. Okay, okay, okay. What have you got for sale? Mm, okay. A single Gresham. Okay. Let's try this tournament. I'm honored that you should come to me. <clears throat> I've heard there's a contest happening, and that the prize is a keg of fine wine. That's true. I bought the finest wines to be had in the province. I'd like to take part. Do you know the rule? Yeah, I've done this once or twice. Splendid. Here's some arrows for you. But you can use your own if you want. Meanwhile, I'll round up the competition. Copy.
not bad considering I missed the first one. Accuracy went slightly down. Oh no. I got a single thing in the two. Ah, oh, that was a second two. Ah. Oh. Okay, so I don't think, um, don't think that was any problem. All things considered. Look, hurry up, you two. Come on in, Keeper. One last arrow. Okay. Congratulations once more. And here, as promised, a cast of the finest wine in the province. Thank you. Well, I don't know what the hell I was stressing about there. Okay. What time is it? And yeah, oh, damn pebbles you usually come from behind. I've never seen him just warp in like that yeah. before. Okay. Should get some training in. I'd like to train a bit, just lightly, with practice weapons. Right. Let's get to it. What weapon would you like to try? You got a bastard sword, a short sword, we can fight with poles, whatever you fancy. I still don't feel entirely competent with the bastard sword. I'd like to try that. Right, lad. Grab your piece, and we'll get stuck in. Just need a little bit more combat practice, quite honestly. Yeah. 
Now. Some grip or weapon cruncher. Uh, some grip for now. Okay. Okay. Onwards to Ujits. We have a roan to gather. <coughs> and you never know, it might even be a doable without needing to sleep. But we'll see. Henry does need his rest from time to time, particularly on hardcore mode. We check the map. Okay, okay. So, no half. All the way up to shit. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure I know where I'm going. <laughs> and if not, then we're going on an adventure.
Let's face it, we're going on an adventure anyway. I can only hope at this stage that I finish this game before the sequel comes out. Because that's a genuine possibility that I may not. I take too damn long with yeah. everything. But we'll say. At least we know it's coming out. And thus far, it's coming out at least by the end of this year, being 2024. was Warhouse announcing that they were going to announce an announcement of a thing and then when it came time to announce the announcement of announcing they announced oh by the way the announcement is Kingdom Come 2 I'm not complaining not even slightly not remotely it looks amazing and it's the sequel to one of my favorite games of all time though unfinished yet as yet but you know these things happen and I am just rambling now I need to get a, a horse give me a horse head groom what do you need well, I'm looking for the local groom. I'm looking for the local groom. Well, you find him. What can I do for you? The Lady Stephanie of Talmborough sent me. She said you have a roan ready for her. Well, well, Chamberlain Dietrich said someone would come. We have him here, but... <coughs> can't see. That miserable horse will let you saddle him and walk him around the courtyard. But as soon as someone sits on him, he goes completely wild. Well, what do I do? That horse is supposed to be presented at a noble woman's wedding. It probably won't be appropriate if he makes a spectacle of his rider. Is there anything I can do? Try asking Vasha. For some reason, that devil horse listens to him. Then take the horse with you. Dietrich's arranged everything. Good luck to you. Alrighty, Vashak. Did you seriously just walk right over a big pile of shit? Man. Well, no wonder the Roan doesn't like you.
cache is not going to be the uh, closer yeah. quest marker. Let's just put it that way. Excuses. Hand it over. Here. You got the thrashing you deserved. I hope you've learned your lesson. Yes, sir. And <laughs> no bandages to wrap it up with. You really let him go? Just like that? And did you get the loot back? I did. I have it here. Thank you. That thieving magpie. You can't trust anyone these days. <clears throat> And just so you know, I'm no pinch purse. Here's a small reward. Thanks. For Groshen. Such generosity of spirit from you, Mr. Villager. He really was not kidding when he said small reward. Now we're looking for a Vashak. Is there a Vashak around the place? One Vashak. You are a trader, you are not a Vashak. You are a shop guard. Look at those melons, wouldn't they make a fine treat? Feel free to have a knock. Okay. Whatever. First off, I'd like you to show me how to ride a horse better. Certainly. Right here in this pub. I'd like to practice. <coughs> All right, but it'll cost you. Now pay close attention. I'd like you to show me how to ride a horse better. Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. Now pay close attention. Here we are. I'd like you to show me how to ride a horse better. Certainly. I'd like to hone my skills. 
first you have to have some skills to hold. Piss off, Vashak. Well, I'm not the one who sings to horses. I heard you have a way with the horse that unsaddles everyone else. Yes, I suppose I do. And how do you do it? How do you calm him down? I, I'm good to him. But how? Well, I want to treat the horse well too. But I don't know how, because I don't know him as well as you do. Will you help me? Liar. You want to take him away. Leave him alone. I'll be with you. Well, you're not wrong. I do want to I'll take him back. away. One last time. How are you able to handle the horse? I... I'm good to him. I don't know why Henry needed to be quite so aggressive just then. But, yeah. Listen, Basha. I've been entrusted by the Lady of Talmbra. I need you to help me understand how to calm down that road. Lady Stephanie? That's her. You know her. She's a good person. She even talked to me once. I know her too. And she was nice to me as well. Will you help me with the road? Do you have to... S sing him his favourite song? And which one would that be? Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there The first one is brown and the second is grey Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? That's, uh, interesting. I know how it looks, but he likes it. Thank you, Basha. May the Lord watch over. I've only got two hands. Well, I think I've embarrassed him enough, making him sing a stupid song about horses in front of a pub full of people. You're not practically passed out after going for a run, have you even gone for a run? <coughs> not that I'm a particularly athletic individual. Piss off, you're better than pebbles. Here's the interesting thing. We're going to get to Talmberg in the middle of the night. But what the hell, that doesn't matter.
Okay. <coughs> Let's do this. Let us also do that. Because torches are stupidly useful, and we're not turning left, right here. Left, right here. We're not turning left just here. We are not. Or are we? Actually, you know what? I think we are. So I've just taken a massive wrong turn. Look at this. Here we are. Burnt out old place. An interesting sight. Someone's hand. I always thought this place was made of gingerbread. Okay, now. Want me to sing? <laughs> you definitely the first horse I've ever serenaded. The horse has come roaming in the merry months of May. Raising the fruit of the apple tree there. First one is brown and second is grey. Okay, so I did take a wrong turn. Back when I took a wrong turn. Which is here. Don't go that way. Go this way. And then take the next left. <sighs> That's all right. rather not be dead, fellas, if it's all the same to you. <sighs> I don't think I'm dead. I think I may even have gone the right way. Is that Talmberg in the dark before me? You know what? I reckon it is.
Redeem, mate. Staple master. Watch what you're doing. You walked into me. You absolute plonker. <coughs> uh, what's the time? I should think Lady Stephanie's probably in bed at this hour. Oh, no, she isn't. Well. Not that I need a shield with Lady Stephanie. God save. Can I help you with anything? Well, uh, first off, I brought that wine. I brought the wine. Wonderful, wonderful. No wedding is complete without good wine. Find somewhere here to put it down. I'll send for a servant to bring it later. I hope you had no problems acquiring it. Problems? Huh. I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> As if I didn't know you. I brought you the crown from the master engraver. Henry, you are a gem. Look at that Moldavite. Isn't it wonderful? Sophie will look like an angel. So, what's next? The horse. I brought the roan, my lady. That's wonderful. There weren't any problems with it, I hope. Nothing too serious. He's a little wild, but I was able to handle him in the end. Well, that won't do. Sophie can't have some wild horse at her wedding starting a stampede. Well, all you need to do is just sing to him. But I've learnt a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? It's quite true, I'm afraid. I sang to a horse. Well, then you'll have to sing something to me, too. My lady, I, I don't know if I... So I know how to calm down that roan. Go ahead, sing. <coughs> the horse has come roaming in the merry month of May. Raised in the shade of the apple tree there. The first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Oh, how beautiful! I'm not surprised the horse calmed down after hearing such a lovely voice. Anyway, I'll think about what to do with the roan. But thank you, Henry. Is there anything else you need? What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. And now I'd like to reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. You taking the time to see me is reward enough. Come now, Henry. No need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me. As well as your company. And there's something I'd like to give you. This shirt was my father's. He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. It should fit you just right. But... But I can't accept this. It's too valuable. It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. It doesn't fit my husband well, and I've no one else to give it to. What's more, if you were to leave us again, I'd like you to have something to remember me by, so you don't forget me. I could never forget you, my lady. Well then, won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll turn my back. And what if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. All righty. All right then. God be with you. I feel truly blessed to have you here. So long I yearned for young company. I really feel God heard my prayers and sent you to me. Are you ready? 
My, you do look handsome. As fine as any gentleman. When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around and young men and women of the court. It was so merry. I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But it was not God's plan. You and Sir Divish had no children? No. No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but they did not live. And now I fear there's no hope for me. My lady. Forgive me, my lady, I, I shouldn't have. I don't mind. How very rude. Only an hour, come on. Terrible, Henry. So you meant to go through the door and close it behind you. <coughs> now to just sneak out of the castle. Henry's going to pretend that the entire castle doesn't know exactly what just happened. Because they absolutely would. Okay, that's far enough. And Redeem's his mate. Hey, Redeem. How are you, buddy? Which is why I'm not going to pick his pocket. Even though I was tempted to. Yeah. Torches help. Who knew light to see by would be such an important thing? get the rest of this finished. There we go. Oh. I 
Marathon Man, Sprinter, Balanced Diet, Herman Dustbin. Eh, balanced diet. <coughs> Also food. There we go. That'll do. Five hours, that's a nice amount of time, I feel. Mildly disturbed at this constant waking up where he goes to sleep business, though. Now, uh huh? Okay. Now that we've gone and rogered the local noblewoman. Getting TF out of Dodge. just went out the wrong <laughs> entrance or exit or whichever I think no arrows my ass I have no arrows I have all the damn arrows Where'd it go there? Oh, Lockpick, useful. But yes, I wanted this. Exit. But not that way, this way. Come, Pebbles. I'm almost considering, and I hate to even utter the words, but I'm almost considering a horse upgrade. That's an ambush. You might be forgiven for thinking it's a bacon tree, but no, it's definitely a ambush. Uh, this 
stealth kill perk. Oh, that's just in time to be useful. Provided I can actually work out where any of these bastards are before they hear me. Are they just on the other side of the bacon tree? Because... Shit! Okay, they're on to me. Ow! Seriously, was it just him? Couldn't have just been him. It's never just one. Really? <coughs> just one guy? Oh, 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 oh. Bastard bunny. Okay, I'm just going to continue on foot from... for a little while. Just... while on a bunny hunt. Well, not really a bunny hunt, just... Keeping my eyeballs open. I just feel I might run into uh, more potential threats. Quite honestly. Hang on, hang on, hang on. OK. 
Okay. So left to begin with, yeah. and then right at the earliest. There we go. Don't need to stop off at the pub. Yes, Pebbles, you can chill out. I'm almost home anyway. run over Sir Hanush. It's his own fault. He was the one that gave me a horse license. Go past your face without pummeling it. That's fine. You put up quite a show last time, lad. Want to try again, do you? Try again, is it?
He doesn't need the money. That's not true. He probably needs it more than I do. Apart from the fact that he is an NPC. Whereas I am a protagonist. So therefore, I need it more. Because he's never going to take that 40.9 groschen, for instance, to Sasau. He's unlikely to even spend it at the bathhouse. Not that I'm going to now. Because I have those services for free, but... He would not. I wonder Henry, I'm so glad to see you. You wanna go for a walk? What now? Should we take a walk? You don't give up, do you? Well, let me think. And where would you care to go? Uh, yeah, let's go for a stroll along the river. What if we took a stroll along the river? Why not? That sounds lovely. Shall we go? Let's, Let's go. go. I hope Teresa's in the next game, but I also feel like she probably won't be. Because Henry's going to be in a different region, hey. and that was a good idea to go for a walk. her fate is Not kind of tied to the mill. I'd love to see the markets in Prague one day. Have you ever been to Prague? No, I haven't. I have been in Kuttenberg, but Prague must be much bigger. <laughs> I've heard it's pretty smelly, though. Yeah. So many people in one place. So many assholes. That's disgusting. I'd love to listen to that young preacher, Jan Hus. They say he preaches in the common tongue. Everyone's talking about it. I bet he's just handsome. That's why the women dote on him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're a right one. A preacher doesn't need good looks for people to Certainly listen. never going to be what wars fought in his Saint name. James? I know full well why all the girls have started going to confession, and you have too, so don't give me any of that. You scoundrel. Well, alright. I admit I find him handsome. But that doesn't make me a bad Christian. I'd never dare to suggest such a thing. I tell you what. Let's not doddle. Last one is a slimy slug! Yeah, you are! Here next to me, Hal. No, nah, I thought I'd just turn around and walk back to the mill. I actually get my horse and ride back without bothering to sit and chat. Because that'd be rude. And what about you? I heard you're helping Sir Radzig. Sir Radzig has me running in a few errands. I have to say, he always treats me well, and I make a wage. So you've had your turn of luck. What's it like serving nobility? Oh, it's work like any other. Uh, I don't know. I suppose.
suppose it's a job like any other. Of course. I'm sure it's no different than being a charcoal burner. You'll have to try harder than that. Now then. Oh, Henry, what am I going to do with you? Wandering the land, turning innocent girls' heads. <coughs> the only one here whose head is all messed up is me. How do you always manage to look so good? Just look at the lady killer. Where did you learn to talk that way? Mm. I don't recall which church service it was exactly. <laughs> you scoundrel. But you certainly know how to make a girl feel special. You may continue. But now I have to go. Can I go with you? Just a little way. I don't want anyone to gossip. Thank you for coming with me. Please come and see me again. All right. I'm glad to see you. Good. Can you train me in anything Will you teach fun? Me how to pick I'm interested in more advanced techniques. Wouldn't you rather learn the basics? Uh, probably. Well, I'll think it over. What about the lock picking? Here you're able then? to open locks without a key. Will you teach me how? Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. Wouldn't you rather learn the? Well, fine. Bloody Peshek. Okay, okay. Hmm. Okay. Call it seven hours. That's good. And where am I waking up? Okay. That's fine. Don't need any just yet. If 
but uh, we have been invited to relax in the baths with Sir Hans Capon, which I feel is definitely a good task for next time. For now, farewell. I shall see you soon. <laughs>